Hey guys, welcome back to another common tennis video. And today I've got another awesome workout for you that I'm sure is gonna put your lungs to the test and get you guys back in shape now that the tennis courts are opening up here in Toronto and around the world. Just like last time, this is gonna be a tennis workout that you can do at home and it's gonna require very little equipment and can be modified so you guys can do it in your living room or if you have the space in your backyard like I'm gonna do in today's video. But before we get into the workout, make sure you guys smash that like button because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm boost this video and hopefully help me reach that goal of a thousand subscribers and that'll just be amazing. So in today's video, like I said, it's gonna require minimal equipment. I'm just using my tennis racket and tennis balls. The tennis balls are just there so I know where to move when I'm going through the workout. But you guys can replace the tennis balls with pretty much anything you have lying around. You can replace it with towels, cones, pillows, whatever. As long as you have some kind of guidelines wherever it is that you're doing the workout. Now, if you have limited space, like say you're doing it inside of an apartment or in your living room, you're gonna put those objects a little bit closer together or if you're outside and you want a really tough workout, you can place them further apart. And like I said, I'm using a racket in today's video and I suggest you guys do as well so you can get that tennis training in. But if you don't have your racket with you, that's fine as well. You can just do some shadow swings with your hands and you're gonna get an intense workout even without a racket. Just like my last workout video, this workout is gonna be a HIT style workout, which means high intensity interval training. So we're gonna do as many reps of each exercise as we can do in the one minute time. We're gonna get 20 seconds rest and then we're gonna repeat for the next exercise. In today's workout, I've actually made it so that we have five exercises per set. So we're gonna do each exercise for one minute, as many reps as you can. You rest for 20 seconds and you go right back into the next exercise. So again, five exercises, a minute each, 20 seconds rest in between. And when we go in between sets, so five exercises being one set, when you go in between sets, it's gonna be another 20 seconds rest for you. I'm gonna be doing what I call master's mode, which is gonna be three sets. If you guys are cardio beasts and want even more of a workout, you can do what I call the grand slam challenge, which is gonna be five sets of this HIIT workout. Whether you guys are gonna do three sets or five, you guys are gonna get an amazing cardio workout today, and it's gonna help you guys prepare your body when you're heading back onto the court. All right, let's get into it. All right guys, so heading into this workout, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is set up your tennis balls in this configuration that I have here. I have it set up kind of like a pyramid where I have three at the back, two at the front, and I have my phone there with my timer right at the top of the pyramid. Now for this first workout, what we're gonna do, it's kind of like a return drill. All you're gonna do is jump forward and hit a forehand, return back, and then hit a backhand. You're just gonna be switching in between those two. Now remember guys, you're just gonna do as many as you can in one minute, and then you're gonna have that 20 second rest. Good job everyone getting through that first exercise. So now we can start getting ready for the next one and it's gonna be a serve practice. So you're gonna start behind that first ball that I'm touching right there, the middle one, and you're gonna start behind it in a serve position and you're gonna be jumping over it the way you would kind of jump into the court on your own serve. Then once you land, you're gonna recover back and repeat that as many reps as you can in one minute and then look forward for that 20 second rest. At this point, my legs were already pretty much toast, but you know what, you gotta push through. 
Anyways guys, the third exercise is going to be a side to side shuffle. So you're gonna go between those two tennis balls at the end, the one furthest right and left. And basically you're gonna be hitting a forehand on one side, shuffling over to the ball on the other side, hitting a backhand, shuffling back for the forehand, back for the backhand. And this is gonna be a great practice for defending on the tennis court. Our fourth exercise of the set is going to be a volley practice. So we're going to start behind that center ball at the back and you're going to volley first forehand volley moving up to the right side tennis ball and then a backhand volley going to the left side or if you're left hand you're just going to be doing the opposite sides. Again we're going to do as many reps as we can in one minute and then we're going to have that 20 second rest. Good work everyone and now it's time for the final exercise of the first set and that's going to be the figure eight. Now this one is going to absolutely burn your legs so you're going to have to really dig deep and push hard to finish through this set. So what you're going to do is you're going to start on one of the outside tennis balls, doesn't matter which one, and you're going to use your first shot like an aggressive shot where you're going to actually push your body ahead of the tennis ball and basically figure eight around to the other one on the other side and maintain that figure eight pattern for the whole minute. Good luck guys and just stay with it and push through. To everyone who made it this far, you guys did an amazing job. So give yourselves a pat on the back. Enjoy that 20 second rest, cause you're gonna need it, catch your breath. Anyways, at this point I'm already gassed. I'm just doing whatever I can to push myself through and I guess probably some of you are doing the same. Just stick with it, finish those two more sets that you've got or if you're an absolute beast going for that Grand Slam challenge, enjoy those five sets of pain ahead of you. Anyways, I'm gonna cut the music, cut the talking and you guys can hear me struggle for the rest of the time.
I hope you guys had an amazing workout. If you're still looking for more of a workout, you can check out my last high intensity interval training workout. I'll put a link right here and also in the description of this video. I'll be dropping a new video every Sunday. So make sure you guys subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single video. Next week, I've got a brand new racket review coming out. It's gonna be the all new 2020 E-Zone 98, the Nick Kyrgios racket. So if you guys don't wanna miss that video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you next time.